to solve the nice exponential equation, let's manipulate the left side. Three to the power x plus nine is equal to three squared, then to the power x. 27 is equal to 3 cubed. The power of x equals 14. Now apply the exponent rule, we get 3 to the power of x. The second term is 3 to the power of 2 times x. So we get 3 to the power of 2x. Similarly, 3 to the power of 3x equals 14. Apply the exponent rule again. So we get 3 to the power x plus the second term can be written as 3 to the power x and then square. The third term, 3 to the power x and then q equals 14. Now we do a substitution. Let t equals 3 to the power x. So we get a cubic equation t plus t squared plus t cubed equals 14. We can rewrite the equation as t cubed plus t squared plus t, and then move 14 to the left side, so minus 14 equals 0. According to the integer 0 theorem, the possible solutions of the equation would be the factors of 14. So the possible value for t would be plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus seven, and plus minus 14. t equals plus minus one are not solutions. Now try t equals two. Then the left side becomes two q plus 2 squared plus 2 minus 14. Here's 8 plus 4, 12 plus 2, 14 minus 14, yes, 0. So t equals 2 is a solution. That means t minus 2 is a factor of the left side. Okay? Based on this fact, we can rewrite the left side as follows. t cubed, but we change t squared as negative 2t squared plus 3t squared, and t as negative 6t plus 7t, finally minus 14 equals 0. You will see the vision. From these two terms, we take the greatest common factor t squared out, so we get t squared, then t minus 2. For the second two terms, we take 3t out, so we get t minus 2. For the last two terms, we take 7 out, so we still get t minus 2 equals 0. Now we can take the new common factor t minus 1 out. So we get t minus 2 out. Okay. So we, for the first term, t squared. For the second term, 3t. For the last term, 7 times that equals 0. So we have two possibilities. The first one, t squared plus 3t plus 7 equals 0, or t minus 2 equals 0. For this first case, the quadratic equation doesn't have real solution because the discriminant delta equals b squared 3 squared minus 4ac, 4 times 1 times 7, 9 minus 28 equals negative 19 less than 0. So no real solution. From the second case, we get t equals 2. But t is equal to 3 to the power of x. So get 3 to the power of x equals 2. Now, 
both sides apply log will face three. So we get log three to the power of x would face three, the right side, log two would face three. We can move x to the front of log. So we get x times log three would face three, the right side, log two would face three. We know log three would face three is one. So we get x equals log two would face three. That is the unique solution to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.